As promised, our first guest of the day, one day after he announces that he is going pro and leaving BYU, Yoli Childs, back in Studio B. Yo, Yo great Yo, to have you, you, man. Appreciate you having me on. Always good. Great to see you again. Uh, let's start with why was now the perfect time for you to make this decision, hire an agent, go pro, and seek that professional career? Uh, you know, you can look at all the, the analytic things. Like, I've got really good feedback. I feel like I had a good year, but... Uh, at the end of the day, it's what I feel in my heart, and uh, I, I feel very blessed to uh, be a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And uh, now that I'm married, to be able to to go through the temple and uh, to pray about these things, and, and really just spend that time in the temple with my wife and and ponder and pray and think about these uh, opportunities in front of me, and uh, just something in my heart knows that right now is the time. And uh, I'm just really grateful for all the BYU fans and. Uh, it, it's not it's not a knock at BYU at all, and it's not I, I don't love it here or anything like that. I love it here. You know, I, I love everything that that's happened here, and I love my teammates. I love the fans. I love my coaches. Uh, but something in me uh, has a great feeling about now and what I can do to support my family. And uh, I, I think it's really just about your priorities. And, and BYU is way up there on my priority list. But the most important thing is is always going to be your wife and your family and how you can take care of them. I think any frustration that would stem from you leaving early is that we won't, we just won't have you. You're a good player, and we won't have you. Um, so, what went into the timing of this? Because a year ago, we sat here and I, I said, "Well, it's going to be a fun one more year with you." So I kind of felt like we had more one, <laughs> one more year with you. Do you feel like you developed the skills that you needed to be able to go to the NBA? For sure, I, I think uh, I've gotten a lot better at the things that NBA teams wanted me to get better at. But I feel like I have a tremendous opportunity in front of me to to go somewhere, train, play against pros every day, and continue to develop those skills. And uh, I think the the plan I have going forward uh, will help me a lot in developing. Your only homework is basketball, Yoli. That's a beautiful that thing. That sounds pretty good, right? <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> no American heritage to go yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yoli Childs with us in Studio B, announcing that uh, he will leave BYU and go pro. I know that and education and schoolwork and degrees and all that stuff is important to you because we've talked about it before, and I know it's important to your mom. So how do you manage all of that and balance it as you go forward seeking to play professional basketball but then still trying to pay attention to that stuff? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, part of the benefit of being a pro is that you can really just focus on your game and you don't have to worry about school and all those things. But it is important to me and my family that I get my degree and uh, it doesn't need to be something that I do in a year and basically be a student athlete, but um, I'm lucky that uh, in the day and age that we live in, I can take classes online and space it out and uh, over the next few years or so finish it out. It seems to be more accommodating than ever before for guys that are going pro and, and still want to do something Let's like be that. honest. When Jimmer was a senior, he didn't go to a single class. He was taking them online because <laughs> well, he, he, he couldn't could, He couldn't. He couldn't. Yeah, so this has been set up for a while, right? <laughs> Michael Orr with independent study. Like, yeah, it was in the blind side. Um, where do you see yourself at this time next year? Uh, this time next year, hopefully I'm on an NBA team contributing. You know, uh, I really believe uh, in my game right now, and uh, I trust my work ethic, and I trust the process of this whole thing that uh, I really see myself on an NBA team competing and uh, just doing something every day to help a team win. Now, I know that some NBA scouts and personnel have said to you, hey, we could utilize you as a three. Can you defend the three? Can you shoot the three well enough at that wing position? How do you feel like you stack up and, and where you want to fit into the NBA? Yeah, I feel like I've gotten better each year on playing on the perimeter. Uh, I was purely a center all through high school. I really didn't uh, start working on my perimeter game too much until I got here at BYU. Uh, I think at the next level, I would mostly still play the four. Uh, I'd be a guy that switches ball screens, guards the perimeter, guards the post. But I do see times where I could play the three, and uh, I'm really excited for the opportunity. Let's. The ideal situation is you're drafted, mm -hmm. okay? But there was a new rule last year where if you're invited to the combine and you sign with an agent, but if you're undrafted, you could come back. Is there any chance you come back, or are you gone 100%? Uh, I mean, I think the mentality has to be, I'm a pro. I'm going to give this thing my all. I think when you go into a situation like this and you don't give it your all, uh, you're selling yourself short and you're not giving yourself the best opportunities. But I'm always going to just try to look and do what's best for my family. If I'm in that situation, then, I mean, who knows? It's, it's just going to be uh, based off a of feel of where I can get better, uh, what I can do to 
to really elevate my game and my stock and uh, take care of the people I love. Your mom is a rock star. There was an article recently uh, put out in a, in a local paper that kind of highlighted that. What was her reaction to all of this when you said, hey, now it's time, I'm going to go? Uh, she, she just told me that she's proud of me and that she loves me. You know, um, I've been very blessed to, to have the mom that I have, and she's just supportive in everything I do. Yeah, she, she can see if I'm happy, and uh, if I'm happy, she's happy. You know, it was the same thing when I told her I was going to join the church. It was the same thing when I told her I was going to go to BYU, and uh, she could see that I was happy and at peace with my decisions, and she was happy about that, and uh, it's always good. When, when mom's happy, you're happy. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. when, when wifey's happy, you're happy, yeah. so it's happy good to have wife. those people happy. happy. You've yeah. learned some important things, Yola. Right? Yeah, yeah, you've been married like a year, right? But you're pretty smart. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, what role, if any, did the departure of Coach Rose have on this decision? Um, I don't think it had too much of a, an impact on the decision. I think uh, it just more had to do with where I'm at with my game right now and, and how I feel about uh, my ability to play at the next level. Who do you hand the, uh, the torch off to, if you will, now that you're leaving? Who, who are the guys or who is the guy that you say, all right, here you go, let's do this? You know, the obvious candidate is Gavin. That's my guy. Uh, but a lot of it will have to do with uh, who the new coach is and how they want to play and what system they run. Uh, if they want to keep the ball in, in the guards' hands more, if they want to continue to throw it in. But uh, it really just comes down to who's going to work the hardest. You know, uh, when, I was, when I was a freshman, people obviously saw that when Eric left that I was going to have an expanded role. But uh, it just comes down to work. You know, a lot of guys could have had that role and stepped up. But... Uh, it's all about the daily grind and just working as hard as you can. This has been a pretty wild week for BYU basketball, right? First yeah. Coach Rose, now yeah. you. Um, what's it been like for you emotionally as you've not only made this decision but heard, hey, Coach is, coach is out. He's retiring. Oh, it's been emotional for sure. Um, when Coach first said that, that he was retiring, uh, my instant reaction was just like, was honestly really sad because – He's done so much for me over these past three years. He instills confidence in his players. He makes you feel like you're on top of the world. And uh, I love everything he's done for this program. But seeing how happy he was just made everything OK. You know, he he seems like he has a little pep in his step. And uh, he just seems so excited to, to almost have that burden off his shoulders. And uh, I'm, I'm just so proud of him and, and the career he's had. So that's been unbelievable. Part of it makes me laugh thinking, wait, he's happy not to hang out with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> right? He's like, I'm sick of you. <laughs> Great stuff. Uh, let's finish with this. There, there are some names out there floating around. Mark Pope, uh, Quincy Lewis. You have relationships with both of those guys. Barrett Peary, you played against the Portland State coach. Some names in the NBA. Um if you could give advice to the players and the coach as they move forward in, in this new generation of BYU basketball begins, where, where would you start that advice in that speech? Trust. Uh, it all comes down to trust. And the biggest thing is uh, I, I trust Tom Homo, and I, I trust Brian Santiago, and I trust the decisions they're going to make in hiring a head coach. They're all great options. You know, Coach Pope recruited me in high school. He's an unbelievable guy. Uh, coach Perry actually recruited me when he was at ASU. He's an unbelievable guy as well, and uh, Coach Lewis is hes a rock star. You know, he's hes very spiritual, man, and he's really just a great guy. So you have great options everywhere you go, and uh, a really special team. You know, a group of guys that wants to work and that loves each other, and I just know they're going to support whoever comes in, and uh, it's really just all about trust. you got to trust the new system. you got to – the coach has to trust the players, and uh, if they can trust each other, it's going to be – it's going to be awesome. Well, good luck. We're excited for you. Hopefully you get that combine invite. That would help a ton in this process sure. uh, in the next couple of weeks, I think. And, uh, yeah, good luck. We'll be watching closely, man. Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma. Yeah, yeah I need all that. Yeah, Thank you. It's been a fun three years. Thank Thanks, you. man. And Thank as a Copper Hills guy, you're my favorite. Guy. <laughs> my favorite. Even though you beat them for the state championship your senior. Come on. You've got a one-page essay due on how to uh, adequately hedge off of a screen. Well, That's you still have homework the next the three weeks. Day. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the next couple weeks. Yeah. Got to finish it yeah, out you strong. Got a few weeks. Got a group project of 103 pointers a little bit later. <laughs> Yoli, fantastic Thanks, stuff. Yoli. Thanks, man. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.